Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah and in this video we are going to talk about a new open source data management framework called Apache Hoodie. If you don't know anything about Apache Hoodie, don't worry, we'll essentially guide you and there are some beautiful labs about Apache Hoodie coming forward. This is the first part rather introduction about Apache Hoodie. So let's uh, get started. So I'll share my screen quickly. So hopefully you guys are able to see my screen, right? Many organizations build data lakes on Amazon's simple storage service, also called as S3, using a modern architecture for scalable and cost-effective solution. Open source storage formats like Parquet, Avro are commonly used and the data is stored in these format uh, as immutable files. As data lake expanded to additional use cases, there are still some use cases that that are very difficult with the data lakes such as CDC, change data capture, time travel, querying point in time data, privacy regulation requiring deletion of the data, concurrent rights and consistency regarding handling small, uh, small file problems. The solution to that is Apache Hoodie. Again, before we uh, read about Apache Hoodie, there are other stuff as well. For example, there's something called Delta Lakes. You also have Apache Iceberg. But uh, again, Apache Hoodie is one of the most popular, uh, widely adopted. Okay, So I'm going to read a little bit definition for you. Apache Hoodie is an open source data management framework used to simplify incremental data processing and data pipeline development. This framework, this framework more efficiently manages business requirement like data lifecycle and improves the data quality. Hoodie enables you to manage data at the record level in Amazon S3 data lakes to simplify change data capture CDC and streaming data ingestion and helps you to handle data privacy use cases requiring record level updates and deletes. Dataset, uh, datasets managed by Hoodie are stored in S3 using an open storage format, while integration with Presto, Apache Hive, Apache Spark, and AWS Glue Data Catalog gives you a near real-time access to updated data using familiar tools. This is the diagram that I have taken from the official website of Hoodie. So you might have some various data sources such as, you know, Aurora, you know, MySQL, you know, you have Postgres, Cassandra, DynamoDB, all these are various sources, right? Which uh, again, businesses and microservices are using in our day-to-day -day life. On the bottom section, what you see is a, is a lake storage. Again, uh, if you are on AWS, you might be using S3, HDFS, uh, Azure, um, you know, uh, uh, lake storage or whatever that is, I'm going to focus primarily on S3. So again, you, the organizations are going to create their lake. Hoodie data lake, again, it sits on the top of S3. So essentially the data is stored in the, um, again, open source hoodie format, right? So now they essentially keep a track of all the metadata. They helps you to essentially do updates, insert, etc., etc., etc. Now you can leverage uh, existing tools such as Amazon Athena, Redshift, all these stuff that you can leverage on top of uh, this, right? So again, uh, it's an open source, very widely adopted. Uh, you could build um, the hoodie pipeline using Flink, Hive, Spark. I'm going to focus more on Apache uh, Spark. That's the area where I would focus using Glue. Some of the features of hoodie are absurd deletes with fast pluggable indexing. Incremental queries, record level change streams, transaction, rollback, concurrency control, SQL read and write from Spark, Presto, Hive, and more, automatic file sizing, data clustering, and compaction and cleaning, streaming ingestion, built in with CDC source and tools, built in metadata tracker for scalable storage access, backward compatible schema evolution and enforcement. These are some of the features of Hoodie. Hoodie also has um, you know, snapshot query, which provides snapshot of queries on a real-time data using combination of columnar and row-based storage, example, Parquet and Avro. Incremental queries provides a change 
stream with record inserted or updated after a point in time. Read optimized query provides excellent snapshot queries performance via purely columnar storage, example Parquet. Some popular companies uh, you know, that are adopting uh, Hoodie are again Amazon, Microsoft, uh, Walmart, Roku, and there are much, much more again, as I said. So Hoodie is very, very popular. It's very, very trending. And in the upcoming videos, we'll also compare, uh, you know, as we keep learning, we'll, we're, gonna, we're gonna compare Hoodie with Delta Lakes. We're gonna compare that with uh, Apache Iceberg, see what is the difference. Why is Hoodie adopted so, so much by everybody, right? This is the first video, essentially an introduction. Next videos are gonna be a couple of labs. We're gonna write all the glue jobs. We're gonna write the infrastructure code. We're gonna do every single thing, right? And then we're gonna query our hoodie data using Athena. And then we'll explore more items as and when we go, such as insert, updates, and other items. Thank you so much for listening to me. This is the first part. I'll see you guys in the next part where we'll do some hands-on session with hoodie. Thank you.